Welcome to another modding tutorial. Today we're going to do an updated Frosty installation guide. As a fair warning, this tutorial is going to go step by step into modding so it's as beginner friendly as possible. I'll have timestamps in the description box if you want to jump from point to point in case you're more of an experienced modder. This method should work on all Frosty modded games including Dragon Age Inquisition and Mass Effect Andromeda. You'll need a few things before we get started modding for the game. The first is some kind of compressed file opening program, as you'll run into both .rar and .zip files while modding this game. I personally suggest using a 7-zip as it's free and easy to use. I'll link it in the description box. You'll also need to create a Frosty Mod Manager folder to install your mod manager into. I'd suggest installing it somewhere easy to find and not in your game folder. Now it's time to download the Mod Manager. You can find it either on the Frosty Tool Suite website or on GitHub. I'll leave a link for both in the description box. It's worth noting that you might want to check both locations before downloading to make sure you're getting the most up-to-date version of Frosty. Once that's downloaded, open up the compressed file and drag and drop your files into your Frosty Mod Manager folder. Then open up the frostymodmanager.exe file to run it. If you run into a Windows Protected Your PC pop-up, select More Info and then Run Anyway. You'll pull up at this point a blank window with a few options in the bottom. You can either hit Scan for Games to let Frosty Mod Manager automatically find your games, or you can select New. If you opt to hit New to manually find your game and you aren't sure of your game's file path, there are a few different ways to find it. If you're on Steam, you can right-click the game, go to Manage, then Browse Local Files, and it should pop up the game folder. And to make it even easier, you can highlight the address bar at the top and hit Ctrl C to copy it, and then highlight the address bar in the Mod Manager window and press Ctrl V to paste it, then hit Enter. It will bring you to the game folder where you can select the game's EXE and select Open. For Origin, EA's old gaming client, the best way is to go to the top of the program, hit Origin, then Application Settings. From there, you'll have an option for Installs and Saves, which should give you the library location. Navigate to that in the Mod Manager and then select the game folder of choice and then the game's EXE should be in there. If you're using the new EA Gaming Client EA app, look in the upper right corner of the game in the My Collection section. Click the three dots, then hit View Properties and it'll give you the location of the installation. Alternatively, in the Installed Game section, you can select the game, and then manage, then select view properties to get the game location. You can then hit the browse option, use control C to copy the pathway link in the address bar, and then use control V to paste it in the address bar of the mod manager window and then hit enter. Then select the game's EXE. Once that's done, click on the game of your choice and then press select in the bottom right corner in order to open up the mod manager. The first time you load into the Mod Manager, it will need some time to load in data from the game. A fair warning, this can take a few minutes to do. Now that Frosty is set up, it's time to install mods. Download your mod or mods of choice. I'd personally suggest starting with one mod that is easy to see if it's installed correctly or not. That way you have proof that everything is working. You can first try to drag and drop the mod as downloaded into your Frosty Mod Manager. If you run into an unhandled exception error, you can uncompress the mod file using your program of choice, such as 7-zip or WinRAR. Drag and drop the file that's inside somewhere like an empty folder or your downloads folder or even your desktop, and then drag and drop that file into the mod manager. From there, you should now see it showing in the available mods window on the left hand side. Once the mod is viewable, double-click it, and it should now be showing in the Applied Mod section on the right-hand side. Ensure that the mod is checked off, and when you're ready, hit the Launch button in the upper left-hand portion of the window. From there, Frosty should launch into the game. 
An additional window will pop up to show that it's running and you might even get an additional window asking for permission. Grant it and then you should load into the game. Now you should be all set to see if your mod was successfully applied to your game. Please note that depending on the mods and the amount of them that you're using, it can sometimes take a few minutes for Frosty to launch your game. To uninstall your mod, simply either uncheck it in the applied mod section or while it's selected, hit the X option at the top to remove it from your load order, but this will not remove it from the mod manager. If you'd like to delete the mod from the mod manager altogether, in the available mod section on the left hand side, select it and then closer to the top, hit the remove mod option. Please note that every time you use Frosty Mods, you have to launch the game from the Frosty Mod Manager or your mods will not appear in game. I've also found that it works better overall if I make sure either Origin, EA App or Steam is loaded into prior to hitting the launch option. Also, it's worth noting that if the Mod Manager has issues loading, Make sure to try it in administrator mode first by right-clicking frostymodmanager.exe and selecting run as administrator. I also have a few bits of advice and troubleshooting tips for you. Sometimes a way to get Frosty unstuck if it won't load into your game is to go into your game folder and delete the mod data folder that's in there. Frosty will create a new mod data folder as it's needed to run. However, this acts as more of a refresh and can sometimes snap it into working if you're having issues. But again, it should be making a brand new folder after you delete it. If you've installed any kind of hair mod or texture based mod and it only shows up in certain cases, you'll need to make sure that your meshes are set to ultra in the game's graphics settings as that usually fixes the issue. Load order is only important if you have two mods doing the same thing and want one to take priority over the other. In that case, select the mod, but don't uncheck it, and use the two arrows at the top of the mod manager to move them to the spot of your choice. The general rule of thumb is that mods that are at the bottom of your list are loaded in last, so they'll actually take priority, i.e. they will overwrite your other mods. I'd also highly suggest backing up your patch folder now somewhere safe. That way, if you do decide to do both Frosty and DAI modding for Dragon Age Inquisition in the future, or just need a fresh patch folder for whatever reason, you're all set. Patch folder location can vary from game to game, but for DAI, it is located in the game folder inside of the update folder. If you're using the new EA app or Steam and a Frosty Mod Manager isn't launching correctly into the game or your mods just aren't showing, make sure your launch platform is set correctly. If you're just using EA app, then switch it to EA app. If you're using Steam, try either Steam or EA app and see which will work for you. I'd personally suggest starting with EA app as most people have had better luck with that. In order to do this, go to Tools in the upper bar, then select Options, then the Launch Options tab. Enable Platform Launching needs to be checked off, and then after that, select your platform to the one that you need and hit Save. If you mod multiple Frosty games, please note that you'll have to do this for each of them. If you load into a game and you're finding it's taking forever on the Waiting for Platform or Game part, I'd suggest closing out of that window specifically to cancel the launch, then relaunching after. I found that it loads in no problem after. If however, it won't cancel the launch at all, close out of Frosty Mod Manager altogether and then literally just try launching the game like normal again. I've honestly had this take me a few tries occasionally to get everything working, but just keep repeating these steps until you manage to get into the game. If you find an unhandled exception error when switching games, just relaunch the mod manager and it should fix it for you. One way to avoid this is if you're modding for two different Frosty games, close out of the mod manager and then switch to a new game after relaunching it instead of using the switch game option that is at the top of the mod manager. You can also try installing .dai mods into Frosty when modding for Dragon Age Inquisition. It can be a bit hit or miss if it works or not, depending on the mod, but it is worth trying. 
However, it's worth noting how finicky it can be, so just keep that in mind. The mod may not work, or it could cause other strange issues. Last thing I'd like to mention, Frosty, especially for Dragon Age Inquisition, can be very, very fickle at times, frustrating and sometimes just unwilling to work. I've had days where it's worked for a while, the next day it stopped working altogether, and the day after that it worked again. I can't explain it, but it happens. So be patient with it and sometimes a good old fashioned computer restart or giving it a night to think about what it's done will do wonders. Good luck and happy modding.